Alright, welcome. My name is Captain Danger. This is our 1997 Eurovan camper van, Shamu. And uh, today I'm going to start the fridge project. I'm going to be replacing the Norcold with a TF65 truck fridge. I'm also going to be adding a 100 watt solar panel uh, to top the battery off. So why don't you join me on this adventure and uh, we're going to get started right now. Alright, step one. The Norcold. we got to get this clunker out of here. Let's get started. I'm going to time lapse this. Should be pretty straightforward, but uh, let's get going. All right, we got everything off of the front panel. Got the uh, vent on the outside disconnected and we got to get the uh, propane line done so let's do the propane line and uh, see if we can get this thing out of here okay we got her out uh, there's a couple things we'll need to deal with uh, let's take a little bit closer look and then we'll clean it up and uh, kind of start dry fitting and see uh, how we're gonna put this thing in Okay, I've removed the plug and I just spliced the wires together and we're going to add a 3 8 uh, flare plug to the gas line and we're going to close that off a couple of wrenches. Alright, we need to fill this hole right here. Um, you can make your own plate. I, I bought this plate from Go Westy, spray paint it black. I'm just going to put it on uh, with the gasket and I'm not going to put the cover back on to uh, just make it nice and trim here. I drilled a couple extra holes. but. Uh, also put a bead of silicone on here and uh, on the plate, sandwich it all together. Here we go. And here is the finished product. And here it is from the inside. I'm going to mount this board in the bottom to uh, kind of level it all out and it'll form the basis of the uh, shelves that are going to be just to the left of the refrigerator. I'm building a platform that the uh, refrigerator will sit on top of on the legs for airflow underneath and uh, we attach these pieces here on the sides. Uh, that'll all get kind of dry fitted then we'll take it off and uh, sand and paint. Uh, keep in mind that the uh, design is purely my own just looking at other people's pictures, there might be a better way to do it, but this is how I'm doing it. All right, making some progress. Come on in, let's take a look. Got all the connections all made. With some heat shrink uh, connectors. And uh, got the base of the shelves right here. Put a uh, upright in the back right here, which will be holding the uh, shelf from the sides. So right now we're gonna put it all together and uh, see what it looks like. Oh, also I added a little bit of insulation, some uh, Frost King peel and seal duct insulation on the back wall. Shelves are in, this is a lot more work than I was expecting. But uh, here it is. We've got two shelves, kind of a taller one and a uh, medium sized one. All right, working on the uh, panel, got to uh, get all the wire tied up. I added a toggle switch on here because the uh, truck fridge has a light inside and it's always on when the doors open. This way it allow me to uh, shut off the fridge and uh, leave the door open so the light's not on. So here's where we're at, getting it, got to tie up the wires, and then we're going to put the fridge in and button her up. Here it is. Let's take a look. I think I'm done. Let's uh, open the fridge here. And uh, 
it's getting cold fast. I turned it on just a little bit ago. I'd say within about 15 minutes, it started pretty cold. Boom. Pretty happy with the way it came out. Uh, I will say it was a lot more work than I was expecting. I'd call this probably a moderately uh, difficult job. Yeah, you got to be able to do some carpentry, some electrical work, um, some mechanical stuff. But there it is. Uh, and hopefully it'll give us a uh, years of uh, use. All right, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'm gonna move on to the solar panel project. Until next time.